Here we go with yet another do or die season. <laughs> I was unable to get the perfect season. I ran into somebody who Goomba stomped the hell out of me. I didn't put up any points. I didn't quit in the fourth quarter. The, the man slapped me around, okay? Let's be honest. The man was shifting his entire lineup to one sideline and was able to stop the run on the other sideline. The, the man, <laughs> he Goomba stomped me, bro. I, I still feel... His five fingers on my face from being slapped. So, uh, hopefully we can have success this game. Because, you know, this game was played immediately after that shellacle that happened. That happened. So, um, you know, they always say winning cures everything. And that is that is true. A nice win would... would it wouldn't help me forget about the loss. Because all my real Madden players know a loss can stick with you for a week. But it, it'll make me feel better, though, if we go on ahead and get a W here. So uh, we're not starting off on, on the right track, you know, just giving up big plays. And, you know, as usual, you'll hear me say this often. This is expected. You know, I try my best to, you know, get some uh, some pressure here and there. Hopefully I get a good user play here and there. But for the most part, people are going to be able to move the ball on me. And um, it, it's just my offense that I rely on to win me games. So... Uh, I'm just hoping, just make, force him to make a mistake or two. Stay prolific on offense, and that's how it gets my W's, baby. Third and three, he had two routes over the middle. Unfortunately, I went for the wrong one. Then he hits the flats, and he almost scores, where he does end up scoring on a QB sneak. And he goes for two. He goes for two, and he gets it. And I'm already thinking, oh, my goodness. Really? I got to go against this in game number 10? I'm going to lose. I'm not going to win this game. I can just tell. Like, I can just tell. The man went for two and got it. And I'm like, great. Yep, 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 yep. I, I lost. I lost. Bye-bye. Well, hopefully those nine win rewards are pretty good. <laughs> so we run the ball to the left. And already, I'm already feeling, oh, my God. How the hell did he just, what? Knock my guy over? Like, he, he hit stick my, what, what the hell is going on over here, bro? Why are my guys... Falling to the ground like that. Like, what the hell is... I don't know. But I'm already feeling a, a little less pressure on running the ball. Look at this. What the... Who is that? He's knocking everybody down. What the hell? I didn't even realize that un until un until I started doing the video. You know? I, like, mid-game, I, I honestly did not realize it. But we end up scoring. Of course, I got to go for two, right? I got to try and match his stupid two-point conversion that he got. And, of course, I failed. Yep. Just... Yep. I lost. <laughs> Just because I'm forced to play his game. I don't got any two-point conversion plays. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I came out in uh, a freaking run play. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Uh, second and 11 right here. Hits me with the bubbles. No, no. He hits me with the, the motion wraparound screen. I'm like, good. I hate that play. I, that play is so tough to stop. It's so tough to stop, man. Especially when you don't know what's coming. You know, now I know to try and look for it. But then, the first time he did it, I didn't freaking know. And I was... Uh, so right there, thankfully, he hits his player back. I got lucky right there because he was wide open. And he punched the ball. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, I, I may have a chance. I get ball at halftime, at least get a field goal here, and we're good. He did hit one hell of a pump, but he forgot that when in doubt, I'm going to throw the out. So right here, we do a 19-yard drop back for no unnecessary reason. And we end up finding Julio deep over the middle of the field. Now I'm one good play away from being in field goal range. Right here, quick little outside juke right there with Shady. And we end up just making 19 people miss. I counted them. Trust me, you don't have to. I did the math for you. Right here, wide open on the drag is Gronkowski. So, of course, we go for two because I got to make up the lost point that I missed out on. And uh, we get those points back. So, now it's 14 to 8. But because he went for two and he was successful, a touchdown does give him the lead, which is frustrating to know that we both scored two touchdowns, but he goes on ahead and gets more points than me. Chucks it up right there. Hopefully he does not come down with it, and thankfully he does not. 19 seconds remaining. Decides going ahead to play action. You see me with man-to-man, uh, -man, and I don't know how Blunt came away with that, but I will take it. So now it's like, okay, I'm actually close to field goal range, and let's see if we go ahead and make that happen. So we call a timeout. Eight seconds remaining. I just need a handful of yards. He prematurely dives. We will go on ahead, run out of bounds, and we will kick this field goal. And that right there gives us a two-possession lead. He goes for the onside kick to begin the half. We recover. And uh, you can just, you know, go on for two onside. And he just quits. Now I'm like, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So we end up winning the 10-game seasons. And we will get our rewards 
Oh, man, after getting Goomba stomped, after getting slapped, after getting destroyed the game before, <clears throat> it didn't start out great. I mean, down 8-0, he went for two hours already, not feeling too confident, but nonetheless, we end up winning the game. They did add uh, BCA players to, I think I mentioned this last time, I won uh, 10 rewards, but they did add, uh, I don't know if it's or better. If anybody received a lead out of that, let me know, because I would love to you know, know if you're getting a lead out of that, but we got our four BCA players, we got our 10 competitive badges, now we go on ahead and open up our 24.5k, and then we have four pro packs, and then we also have uh, our master jersey, which goes for another 7.5k, which, you know, we're definitely just going to quick sell that, so I should actually keep one, and maybe rock them for a season, but, you know, now, you know, I went ahead and, uh, and quick sold it, so now we have our four pro packs, now, this is my third time getting the four pro the four pro packs out of the 10 win season. And the first two times I got an elite. So so far I'm two for two. <clears throat> I'm trying to see if I can be three for three and get at least one elite pool from these four pro packs. So let's see if we can go on ahead and uh, make that happen. So right there we're unsuccessful. But you know, cards is cards, man. These are just uh packs that are just you know, four pro packs that are given to you. And, you know, at the end of the day, you can sell each and every single item for some coins. So, but an elite is tr a true cherry on top. Icing on, icing on the cake. If you can get an elite that can go for an extra 15, 20, 30K on top of what you already got. <coughs> and unfortunately, we do not. And psych, we get an elite. I mean, he went for about 13K, but hey, I'll take it. That's the end of the video, fellas. Hopefully you guys enjoy. It's your boy GS, man. And uh, we'll start a brand new season tomorrow.